It's Joseph, the Coat of Many Colors couch. All right, I'm reaching out. I made this for a lady, and I don't remember the lady's address or what her name was. Now I'm going to show you. Please don't answer if it's not for you, because I'm going to show you the picture the lady sent me of her room that she wanted to match it to. And so I did, and it's going to go in this room, craft room of hers. All right. And I don't, it's a shame that I don't have her address and to mail it to her. So if you look at how the pink pillow looks bigger than the blue, but it's not. Anyway, if you are this lady that lives in this house right here, email me, oops, sorry, email me your address so I can mail it to you. My, uh, my email is angebert405 at at um, gmail. Angebert405 at gmail. So, um, let me know your address. I think I know. I have one let, written down in here that said bright colors, mixed colors. And you know, this is the end pieces of all the ones I've made. And so that might be her. And her name was on that one was Elizabeth. So if that's you. Anyway, um, this is just a thing I'm putting out there for that reason. But I want it to be longer than that. So we're getting ready to go to Idaho Falls today. Yay. I have a list of things, supplies to get from because we can't get it in this town. But now that my company's left, I can go get it. But yesterday I was sitting here in my chair, in my throne, in my nest as material mom, and I was lazy. So what was I doing? Anything I could grab, I was doing this too. Now this is from Sally's. I buy the very best big long bobby pins. And what do I grab? A crap one. Anyway, these big long ones from Sally's. The tips don't fall off like the crap cheap ones. So I decided, hey, that would be fun to just bedazzle my bobby pin case. And so I did. Get down there. And it was quite fun. And I was watching a, a chick flick movie while I did it. Then... I bought this at Dollar Tree last time I went to bedazzle this. It's a glass jar. And I thought, oh, that would be easy to bedazzle. My goal, bedazzle everything in my house. On Temu, Temu, there is a car. They show a picture of the front of a car that they buy the stuff with and they bedazzle the whole thing with this it's sheets like this, they get big sheets. But this is the funnest thing ever. And you just peel it off and see, this was my pattern for that top of that roof. Oh, I'm sweating. It's supposed to rain every day at about two o'clock, the clouds roll in and then we get a thunderstorm. And so today it's gonna do that. So I told Jamie, let's go. All right, the next thing I'm thinking about bedazzling, I don't know. What would I, I kind of like to think, what would I put in here? And it would take a lot of my bedazzled, but I don't know, it'd be stupid. What would I put in here? So I probably won't do it. I'm not saving garbage. It was for a purpose. All right, so I talked about that couch and I have two I have one more to give away, and I'm working on a, a light blue one to give away for the next, um, in August. And then, here's my plan while I'm on my cruise. You're going to still hear from me, so don't worry. Look how the front of my hair always curls good and the back doesn't. Yes, I wet it. Yes, I put product. All the same. 
and it does that every time. But I know you don't care. But you'll still hear, for, hear from me on the cruise. But I can't do dailies on the cruise because I won't have the internet to send it to you. So I will have another plan. So don't worry. You'll hear from me. And then the other thing is, um, I will still have the couch tissue box covers made up ahead of time. And so for when I'm gone, I will mail them and then I will announce as I go along so that you will still, will still have the giveaways. Do you want to know how many I've given away? Just because of my appreciation, appreciation, um, for one of the people who subscribe to me, I'm so thankful for you all to watch me and think that you like me and everything. It just still appalls me that people are liking me. If you haven't subscribed, then subscribe because you could enter. S soon, at some point, I won't be giving these away anymore. We'll move on to something else. Now, one lady wants me to make a round one to fit over toilet paper because some people don't buy Kleenex. So I have it in my mind how to make one. I would still crochet this part, however high a roll of toilet paper is. And then the top one would have to be made round. So I would increase, decrease, increase, decrease, but still make a slit. I think I could do it. And this would basically be the same, but it would just be shorter. So I think I could do it. And it would probably be less crocheting. So stay tuned. As soon as I finish what I'm working on, oh, I have many to finish because another lady wants me to make, she's um, paying me to make some and send them to her directly and not be in the drawing. So anyway, back to what I was saying, the winners. How many have I done? I got to turn the page. Um, 30. I'm on my 31st one. 31 of these I made. And then I didn't count 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Brooklyn, I mean, Lund, I mean, May, Brinley's. So, I'm not burnt out yet. I still enjoy doing them. So, I will keep doing it. And maybe someday I will finish everybody on the list of my subscribers. But I'm doing it as a gratitude to show to all of you who watch me and who love my channel and who reach out to me. Is that the right words? I don't know. I'm not eloquent. You know I am not eloquent in my speech at all. I'm downright comical. I make up my own words that kind of sound like the real word. I know it's not the right word, but I kind of make it up. My family knows that all about me, but they still seem to like me even though I do that. And then they go, that's not the right word. And then I say, well, you knew what I was talking about, didn't you? And they, they did. So then that means it's a new language. They understand Angela language. I don't know where it came from. I'm wearing a Timu shirt, Timu, and necklace and bracelet. Does it match? Anyway, because, you know, I had to look put together because we're going to the city. Idaho Falls isn't a very big city, but... It's the closest one we have. Well, Jackson's closer, but nobody wants to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Sucks. And then everything costs more money. Every, all the stores are tourist traps. Some people go, I went there and I just felt right at home. It just felt so good. It didn't to me at all. But I wasn't raised around horses and buckaroos and western stuff. I was raised in Grants Pass, Oregon, which I don't know what it was. But anyway, I don't want to live in Grants Pass, Oregon either again. I'm glad to be here a Wyomingite, an Aftonite. And the locals laugh at me because I call them Aftonites. They are a true Aftonite. 
If you know, you know. Meat and potatoes, they, they, they are just a different breed here. So, my grand, some of my grandkids are now being Aftonites because they were born here and raised here, but they're turning out good. So, Trevor's kids are so good. Hillary's kids are so good. Chad's kids were so good, and they're all born and raised here. Jamie's good, and he was raised here. So, Jamie had a wound on his leg, and it festered, and it never got a scab on it. And you know, he has neuropathy, and he doesn't have diabetes, but the look at how this is a horrible shot right here. Flower on the boob, the camera right here. Oh, that's horrible. I need to raise the camera. I need to, I need a cameraman. I can't. Why? Because look, right here is my sewing machine. Because I have this to do. I finished all my sewing yesterday, but this. This is a black lace jacket that I cut off. And I want to sew the lace on the bottom of it. Did I make you sick? To um, finish the bottom end instead of just hemming it because it will look really good. But I didn't get, it's a very easy, simple job, but I, I ran out of steam last night because I did all my other sewing. That dress, oh, that's not the right one. My blue dress that I did yes, this morning, yesterday, whatever. And I did all my mending, but I still need to do that black thing there. So now you know what I do with my time when I'm not on here. <sighs> Tried to clean, did laundry, but my laundry, I ran out of steam on that too. And I need to go down, I washed some rugs. And you know how you put them in the dryer and then they ball up and then the inside stuff doesn't even dry and you have to fluff it all up. I need to go fluff it all up and take them out. I didn't dry it dry, dry. I wanna air dry the last part of the rug drying. I know, you don't care. So I gotta do that and then I have to, sorry, I dropped this. I don't want to have that ruined. And then um, I have to do that before I go and I don't want to forget. But I vacuumed the whole house from the company leaving. I felt good about that. I mopped my floor and cleaned the kitchen floor. I felt good about that. And did the laundry from everything, all the sheets and stuff. But I'm waiting for someone to be on the other side of the bed to help me put the sheets on. Cause you know, it's easier to do it when you have two people. Jamie would help me, but he's tired. Cause, oh, he picked raspberries yesterday. The last of them and the cherries. And guess what? A lady came by, she wanted to buy them. We sell to her every year. And so she lives down the street and she saw him picking. So she stopped. So he made $90 yesterday. He, I said, are you happy about that? And he goes, it took me all day. And I said, well, remember when $100 a day was good wages? Some of us remember that. I would have died and gone to heaven if I could have made $100 a day. So um, I told him, save it for the cruise. Because I was getting my cash out for the cruise. I still have over a month for the cruise. So, But I like to get prepared earlier. And then I said, he goes, I'm sorry, I'm going to move this. Anyway, I said, well, well, he saw me. I said, I want this much money for the cruise. And he goes, I'm not taking any cash on the cruise. I'm like, what? So he thinks I'm going to spend all my money and he won't take his. But now I'm going to make him take his $90. You have $90 to take on the cruise. All right, here it is, what I did yesterday too. Here's my suitcase because I've been putting stuff in it because we're going to be gone a month and I do not want to forget anything. All right. These straps were not made right. And this, they advertised that it could fit on your suitcase like this, which is good because my other bag hanged out, hung, hanged, hung out this far. So when you went down the aisle of the airplane, it caught on every seat on each side. That was stupid. That is too wide for bags. 
So I got these and it was made, but then the straps were not made for this. It has one strap down here on these that would work, but then it was flopping at the top. So on this side, it had these right here. I'll probably finish cutting that off. But anyway, I cut that buckle off and it had this buckle here on the side here that was supposed to come to the front here and buckle so this would come closer together. Well, I didn't need that one bit whoever designed that idea. So I took it off and I used, I sewed this strap here and over here so it would be at the right height. Because on one trip we went on, we had some kind of, I put my purse up here and I thought the strap could go over. No, it floppled all over. And then it slid down and came around, down and fallen all over. And it was horrid. And I've been on enough trips now, I know what I want. So I tailor made this and it's clamped down low and it's right here to the right height to pull it through the airport. It's wide as this. And so it's gonna be perfect. And then I put all my ducks, you know, the ducks I made, I showed you how I fixed them. They're in here. So I'll be getting rid of them and won't have to bring it home on there. But anyway, then I will put my purse in here because there's plenty of zippers. So my purse is gonna go in here and my iPad and my Kindles that I, cause I download all the movies so that I can um, watch them on the ship because their TV is crappy. That's where I put my cans, I hang them on my door. It looks horrible, but we have to separate our burn trash from our can, aluminum. So if you come to my house, do not throw your cans in my garbage. You gotta separate them. All right, so um, I've been on enough plane trips and cruises now that I know exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm fixing it right. And Jamie, we've talked him in, Carolyn and I talked him into um, taking the walker. And then he goes, I know, but how am I going to know your suitcase fits right where you, the chair on the walker so you could push it through. Now, I don't think he's going to have the backpack thing. He's just going to have a suitcase. And then we have a fold up backpack that fits in the suitcase. And if we shop too much, which I'm not counting on it because, you know, we have enough. You, as you know, we have enough junk and crap around here. But uh, we'll fill the his backpack with the collapsible one if we need it to come home with. So that's my plan, and I think it's going to work. And I'm leaving this out, even though it looks horrible, sitting right here. This is my tripod that I record with. But because I keep thinking of things, and I stash them in there. Like last night, I got... I don't take pills in the bottles because they take up too much room. I put them in little plastic bags and label it just over the counter pills like acid reflux medicine, Rolaids, cold pills, allergy pills, and stool softeners. I'm expecting I will need stool softeners because on one cruise I went on, I was taking a pain pill for my hips because they were so bad oxy and I wasn't addicted to them but I needed them because my hips hurt so bad and I would have to take one if we were going doing a lot of walking that day well it made me get as you well know pain pills make you get constipated bad and so that trip was miserable and I will never let myself get I don't take pain pills anymore but I just it doesn't make you have diarrhea do you care about all this might be T, too much, TMI, too much information. But um, anyway, on my cruise, because you know you're over consuming food, I'll try not to. I try not to, but I take a stool softeners every day with my other medications and it just keeps me regular when you travel. So I put all those counted out with a few extra in case Amy needs some or David or somebody I can share. All right. So 
I did that too, cause, and then I put him in there so I won't forget him. Cause you know how you think, it's, when you're my age especially, you think of something and then you go, wait, I better do that now or I'm gonna forget, I gotta write it down or I'll forget. And then you go, what was I thinking of? I can't remember. You gotta write it down or you gotta do it right then. And always put the stuff back in the same place every time and then you know where it is and you won't lose it. I keep telling myself that one. Like I needed a little, I took a little tiny tube of glue. We're gonna be gone a whole month. I might need to glue something. And heaven forbid, last time I forgot my brush and I had to pay an absorbent about a price to buy a new hairbrush and the ship did not have any. Not even a little foldable brush, Not no brushes. So don't forget your brush thinking, oh, I'll buy one on the ship. They don't have them. <clears throat> All right. This might be my last cruise. <sighs> Makes me sad, but it might be. Hope it's not, but anyway, I'm gonna go now because Jamie's waiting for me down there and this will be my morning talk show for tomorrow. And I have TV orders, like three of them, at the post office. I have to go pick them up. And so I'll be doing three Timu orders this week. So stay tuned because they are the ones that are watched the most besides Carolyn and I floating in our swimsuits. She's gone. She doesn't have a, well, she does have a tiny little pond, but I don't think she'd fit in it to float. I want to give a shout out to Aaron if he's watching. I heard he watches sometimes. He's my nephew. Shout out to Carolyn, Lisa, Shauna, if you're watching. Amy, if you're watching. That's like on Romper Room. I see. Remember that she would hold up that mirror and name people's names. You could just do that. I see, you know, and name all the names. Anyway, but those are my people that are my siblings. I don't think Larry watches. If you did, hi. And who else? My family. None of my kids watch, I found out. They're too busy. They don't care about me. They've already heard everything I have to say, so I forgive them. All right. I'm leaving now. Goodbye.